Okay, give me a message for our Pisces. Hey, Pisces, how are y'all doing? Ooh, this is a whole lot of cards. I mean, Aries, I don't know why I say Pisces. Hmm, this is a lot of cards. Hold on, let's read. If God and ancestors want this message to come back out, then it, then it will. I felt like this card wanted to come out. The Emperor. Okay, we got the Emperor. We got somebody right now that's respected by others. People respect you. You type person that take control. Okay, and you're not intimidated, okay? But right now, I see you guys have a lot of responsibilities right now. Lots of obligations for the month of March, Aries, okay? I see... Maybe you have some, like, some missed opportunities, okay? Or maybe some bad investments or a couple of lack of resources that you're thinking about in the back of your mind, like, for the month of March, you know? But it's like, I see you trying to have patience in the past position. It's like, you've been, you've been really patient and trying to do things in moderation and practice moderation, Okay, and I just see you being really, really strong and persistent and having, you know, strength, trying to be strong, like in the back of your mind, being strong. Look, these same cards came out, so I know this message, you know, I should have just went ahead and pulled it out. It's like, I see you guys being strong, you know, I see in the future, you guys, you know, just really making decisions, you know, based, like trying to be strict, making decisions, you know, based on intellect you know intuitively um and then it's like i see things i see you you know working very hard you know working hard to become stable it's like you're focused on your money it's like your mind is a lot focused on on money lately um and it's like you're really working towards like abundance you know building fulfillment that's what you're working towards um but i do see people probably on the outside looking in probably trying to like watch what you're doing you know trying to maybe get in your business um you know asking people about you but um i do see you making decisions and choice choices and making risk and thinking about um you know working towards your goals but you might have you might see yourself falling into temptation maybe like having toxic bonds or addictions possibly um falling into that pattern so we don't want you to fall into that pattern it's like i see you looking ahead you could be traveling like you're, you're focused on the future and having confidence in the future but you could you could be power tripping too in a way why is this devil here Cause it seems like you know it's like yeah you it's like you're focused on your money like heavy on like money why is this here i saw the two pinnacles in reverse so it's like you could be juggling other people or having problems like juggling like your your money or making decisions Maybe not smart decisions when it comes to money. I see you being disconnected and not happy when it comes to others in a way. But I see you. It's like these are two of the opposite cards. But I see you getting what you want eventually. In the end, you getting what you want. But it's like I see something happening. Some type of... There could be an incident or like a fight or something chaotic. I see something chaotic is going to happen in the future. Yep. The Seven of Swords. We got bro, we got the Tower and the Seven of Swords and the Devil. It's like trickery, lies, betrayal, sneakiness. 
And now I feel like I need to dig more deeper into this because what is going on? You know, I'm seeing like you not being, I'm seeing like you being upset and not being happy in some kind of way. Like, kind of over a situation. I feel like we need to dive a little bit deeper into this. Why are these cards here? We got the Tower, the Seven of Swords, and the Devil. It's like, I don't, I don't know. You might be careful. Somebody might try to rob you. Somebody might try to rob you or try to hurt you. Why is this here? Why is this here? Answers just... We got the sun. Why? But this, it could be a Leo involved. I see someone trying to fight you and hurt you and possibly from you trying to... Bro, these are really bad cards. The Five of Swords talks about conflict fighting, like aggression, like someone wanting to hurt you. You might need to be careful. This is a warning. This is like a heavy warning of something bad going to happen or someone like it's like i see someone like walking away letting go like choosing themselves in a situation be careful because someone could get mad because you decide to walk away from them or walk away from a situation and want to fight you and try to hurt you and try to hurt you it's you know I got the lovers in reverse, imbalance, cheating, feelings not being mutual. Watch out for somebody that could be possible. Like it could be, it could be, this could be a lover, a situation that you're dealing with, with, with somebody. Be very careful, Aries. Very careful. Um, and it's like you, I feel like you've been feeling this, like with this high priest is, it's like your intuitive is like you, you've been feeling like this It's like, you know, things and you in the back of your mind is like, you've been knowing. And be careful too around, I'm just putting this out there. Be careful with who you drink around. I'm just saying, somebody might try to put something in your drink too. Somebody might try to do something to hurt you. With this seven of cups in reverse. Talk about illusions. It could talk about addictions too. Oh man, I'm not liking this. This is good. I'm gonna definitely have to have a part two for y'all. Because we are already eight minutes in. What else for Aries? Oh man, this is a warning for real. I hope that y'all take heed and be very careful because this is this is definitely a warning. Um, hmm. What else? What other messages do you have for Aries for the month of March? Aries, dear ancestors, what other messages do you have for Aries? Is there anything else that they need to know? Regarding this tower moment, it's like with that tower, something very chaotic is going to happen. I'm seeing a mother figure, but I'm also seeing like a younger person, you know, that's really aggressive, forceful. The Seven of Cups again, choices, illusions, completion. Yeah, like really be really be careful. Okay. We got um heartbreak, a loss, trauma. Okay. I got things happening slow and steady. What else can you tell me about this three of swords? I just see you trying to be resilient, okay, and focusing on I really see you focusing on yourself and like, you know. Working on fulfillment, building a legacy for you and your family. This could be someone that you have a past with. 
and like you're just you're not happy with someone from your past this is someone from your um from your past that you're just not gonna be happy with at all i'm seeing that you're not gonna be happy with this person in some kind of way and you're gonna walk away and they're not gonna like it someone's not gonna like that you walk away they're gonna be stalking you Okay, this person is going to be stalking you, watching you, like trying to check up on you, seeing what you got going on. And I'm I'm seeing like, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, let's pull, <clears throat> let me pull some, uh, some love messages for Aries. <clears throat> love messages for Aries. Love messages for Aries for the month of March. Or really, like, I'm going to say the first two weeks of March because I feel like I'm going to do more. I'm going to do another reading for the Zodiacs, you know, on the two weeks. And it'll be for the end of March. So what do we have like, for, for the beginning of March? Why are these cards don't want to shuffle? Like, what is it? Yep, I got photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, making new memories is like past energy. Someone's like watching and, you know, looking at your photos and really like thinking about you. <clears throat> okay, but I see endings. It's like I see you moving on, you know, endings, change, you know, transitioning like an ending to a situation. You moving on and walking away. Okay, you know, so that way you can find happiness. You want to walk away so you can find happiness. Okay, but it's going to take some time for you to heal. It's like you're going to need time to heal. <clears throat> what else can we get for love for Aries for the month of March? Aries. Those Aries have to look forward to. <clears throat> Divine intervention and spiritual awakening. It's like, look at this. Look at this this card. Like, boom. This looks like the tower. It's like, there's something that's going to have to happen. Like an intervention. Dealing with some type of something. Because there's a lot going on. I'm seeing enlightenment. Life lessons. You having to learn life lessons. And it's like, I kind of want to pull. I see a love offer, man, uh, an offer of love coming towards you. And also, like, you having issues with money. It's like, I, I picked that up. It's like, you're having issues financially for the month of March. And I see someone being ghosted, someone being ignored, okay? This could be you ignoring someone else, okay? There's a snake, someone, like, really shady. What I told you, you got to watch out. You really got to watch out. Somebody could be giving you anxiety and stress, you know what I mean? Having problems sleeping. And look. The unexpected. This is a tower. I told y'all. Something unexpected is going to happen. A surprise shock. You know what I mean? Look at this. Um, a snake charmer. And the grass is always green. And be careful. There could be legal issues. Okay? What else do we have for? You know, I really want to pull. Because I feel like I need to pull from this, um, this other deck. Because I'm definitely seeing like a toxic situation that can go bad. Some of you guys, I feel like this, some of you guys could be dealing with someone that's like very toxic. That could probably, the type of person maybe, that and this don't have to deal with everybody. This is only some people. But you guys could be dealing with people that put their hands, you know, abusive. We got cord cutting, releasing toxic love, shadow work. It's like, yes, I see you guys moving on and trying to move on from like the person that you're that you're dealing with. It's like you're trying to move, you're trying to move on. And you're gonna be, I see you guys, you know, walking. I see you guys walking away. And look, someone's not, it says won't let you go. Someone is not gonna want to let you go. Someone is like very possessive, you know very possessive and like not gonna want to let go okay and i'm seeing um taking risks with money okay bad investments gambling you know you guys could be out there gambling you know trying to you know and that may be the that devil you know come from too like trying to you know come up with money and you guys could be having low self-esteem you know what i mean like feeling down 
and then deep regrets, you know? Someone is having regrets about you. You could be making poor decisions. One, I'm going to do one more. Someone could have a high sex drive. You guys could have a high sex drive. And you could be dealing with somebody that's an energy vampire. Okay, using you to um to get what they want. Okay, just taking all your energy. And look, you got a secret admirer. I told you, there's somebody out there that's been watching you. <laughs> okay. And some of you guys could be dealing with legal problems. That's the second card that came up that's talking about some legal problems. Some of you guys could have cases. Um, some, some people could be going to jail or dealing with somebody that could be going to jail. And be careful because somebody could be doing sex magic on you. Okay. Um, let's pull some, fi Ooh. some finance cards for you guys. This reading is, <clears throat> it's not really long, but I try to get these down to 10 minutes. So this is going to be a two-part reading on TikTok. What is Aries? Tell me what Aries got to look forward to in the month of March finances. Okay, I'm seeing paperwork, contracts, learn as you go. You could be, and look, writing, taking a class, education, law. It's like you could be like really learning about things that have to deal with the law, you know, maybe because some of you guys could be dealing with the law and you're trying to learn. <coughs> I got mask, secret stash, saving money, theft. I told you, like, you got to watch out because somebody might try to steal from you or take from you. You know, with that seven of swords, you know, energy. You know, you could have money, you know, put aside that you're trying to save, too. That's what that card can mean, too. Um, you guys could be coming overcoming obstacles too. Let me pull. I think I'm gonna pull two more for the month of March. Okay, it says you got the cup. It can talk about full or empty account. Like your account could be actually really full or could be really really empty. I got you like really trying to take care of business. I see you. Um, I do see prosperity coming to you as well too. But I do see a rough patch. It's like I'm seeing like you guys having, you know, low money, being low on cash, having some issues with work, you know. But it's like I see you working on maybe self-employment too. Some of you guys can want a career in art or design, um, helping others, um, also hospice healing, you know. But I don't know. For the month of March, I do see... You know, and look, we got the seal, which talks about contracts and stuff like that. Um, it talks about documents, gifts of money. It's like paperwork. I see you guys doing paperwork, dealing with paperwork, contracts, that type of stuff for the month of March. But it's like things can get better. You know what I mean? Things, hopefully things will get better in the next month. But for this month, I'm just seeing, um, I'm seeing like issues, you know, you guys being burdened. You know, but it's okay. You know, things are always going to get better. You just have to put your mind to it and just stay focused and get organized. Okay. Give me another message for Aries. Give me a message for Aries for the month of March, the beginning. Okay. I got business venture. Trust and follow through with the new business venture or career opportunity. So it's like you guys are going to be, and this isn't even finance cards. This is how I know y'all are really focused on like, you know, that vegetarian a new way of eating gives you more energy so it's like you guys need to change your um diet okay and ask the universe for what you want okay and you will receive it you have to pray about it manifest meditate okay and be yourself this situation's cause for you to be your authentic self okay which is the basis of your personal power and you guys could be relocating too and having a new home thinking about moving focusing on like just transitioning and changing your life you could be relocating okay and also i'm seeing autumn in the autumn season everything comes together so it's like right now things aren't as good as they should be, but in the fall time, I know it seems like it's far away, but in the fall, you're going to be right where you need to be. And possibly some of you guys can be moving into a new place in fall, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. I will see you in our next video, and I love you, and be blessed.